Hi, this video will detail how I got started using Loopring, a layer 2 solution on the Ethereum network used to avoid expensive fees on the regular Ethereum blockchain. There's a slight learning curve and I will share some of the mistakes that I made using the Loopring decentralized exchange so that you don't have to make those same mistakes. But first, before I can use the Loopring app, I will need a couple of things. First, I need a MetaMask wallet set up in a browser like Chrome or Brave. I'll link a video in the description below on how this can be set up. Second, I need some Ethereum to move and transact with, ideally already deposited in my MetaMask wallet. What is Loopring? Loopring is a technology that sits on top of the Ethereum mainnet network on a so-called layer two to make transactions and smart contract actions secure, cheap, and fast. The specific technology that Loopring uses is a ZK rollup. Now let's take a look at how Loopring can be used to reduce gas fees. First, I need some Ethereum in my MetaMask wallet. I already have some, but it can be transferred there from a centralized exchange like Coinbase. I transferred my Ethereum to my MetaMask wallet for free using Celsius. To get started, I navigate to loopring.io and click launch app. I need to connect my MetaMask wallet and do so by clicking the button at the top right. I click next and then connect. Neither of these actions cost any gas fees. With my MetaMask connected, I navigate to the L2 wallet page and click on deposit and activate layer two. In order to create an account, I can deposit Ethereum or any ERC20 token, but I'm gonna use ETH. My MetaMask balance is about 0.0259 ETH. So I deposit 0.019 to save some for gas fees. One thing to understand is the act of depositing on Loopring is an Ethereum layer 1 transaction, meaning it bridges from layer 1 to layer 2. This initial cost is comparable to a normal token transfer on layer 1, so kind of expensive. I pay this gas cost once, and then I'm on layer 2 with those assets living gas-free for as long as they are on layer 2. Clicking deposit brings up MetaMask to confirm the deposit. This transaction costs about $27 in Ethereum fees. I click confirm and that finishes the action. It takes a few minutes for the smart contract interaction to finish and once it does, the balance in my MetaMask wallet changes. I refresh the page, click activate layer two and then click activate account. MetaMask pops up again for a signature. This action does not cost any gas fees. I click sign and then sign again, and that's it. My account on layer two is ready to use. Now I'm gonna show you how we can swap ETH to the loop ring token or LRC with minimal fees. I click on trade, select the simple interface, choose Ethereum and LRC token, and select the amount I want to trade. Here is the first pitfall I ran into. There's a minimum amount needed to swap, and that happens to be currently about 0.026 ETH. So if you're wanting to dip your toes into the loop ring decks, I suggest you deposit an adequate amount of funds so that you only need to pay the layer one deposit gas fee once. So I painfully deposited some more ETH into my loop ring wallet, pay an extra $30 so that I can meet the minimum for the swap. I repeat the process and select ETH in the from field and LRC in the to field. Enter the amount to swap, and click swap. The swap happens pretty much instantaneously and I can take a look in my L2 wallet to see that I've converted all my ETH into LRC tokens now. If I go to the transactions and click on trades, I can see the amount that I swapped and the fee that was paid to make the transaction. So just to explain this fee, the 0.043 LRC tokens that I paid is not a gas fee. Currently, Loopring's fees are 0.3% for swapping tokens, where 0.2 of that goes to the liquidity providers and 0.1% goes to the protocol. I wanted to test out the yield farming in the Loopring app as well, and looked at the pools, specifically the LRC USDC pool. It has the most liquidity currently and returns an APR of 7.5%. This is kind of a low return with respect to DeFi, but I just wanted to test it out. I click add to add liquidity. I know I need an equal amount of LRC and USDC, but I input 40 LRC just to see what happens. Lo and behold, there is a minimum amount to provide liquidity. That minimum for this pool is 50 LRC tokens. So you would also need that amount in USDC, which currently translate to about $103. 
Since I don't have that amount deposited, I can't provide liquidity, which sucks because other farming platforms like PancakeSwap don't have a minimum requirement. But if I were to provide liquidity, I would hold sufficient amounts of USDC and LRC and click the add liquidity button. My position in the pool would be represented by LP tokens and I would immediately see the tokens in my account balance. The name of the LP token would be something like LP-LRC-USDC. Loopring is also an order book DEX, so if I wanted to trade on the books rather than in the pool, I can do that by selecting trade at the top and clicking professional. Here you can see the price chart in history, technical indicators, make limit buys and sells, and also market orders. How would I go about withdrawing my funds from the L2 wallet? If I'm done working on layer two, I can go to my L2 wallet and click withdraw to take out my funds at any time. Also, as noted by Loopring, my funds on layer two can never be stolen, frozen, or seized by Loopring. Upon withdrawing, there's a relatively large withdrawal fee compared to layer two fees of about 19 LRC tokens. This is for processing the withdrawal to cover compute power for the ZK proofs and overhead gas fees to publish a rollup block to layer one on Ethereum. I copy and paste my MetaMask wallet address into the withdrawal address field and click withdraw. This brings up MetaMask for a signature. I click sign to continue. And that's it for withdrawing. I check my MetaMask for the LRC token deposits immediately, but the transaction hasn't happened yet. After about 40 minutes, the withdrawal is finally confirmed. That's it for this video walkthrough of the Loopring Layer 2 DEX. It cost me quite a bit of Ethereum to make this video, but I'm reading some comments in the Loopring's Discord and blog posts. There may be a fiat on-ramp that they are developing so that users would not have to transfer ETH from Layer 1 to Layer 2 and avoids this initial gas cost entirely. Let me know what you think about Loopring. Are you excited about this project? Will you be holding or staking any Loopring? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.